Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got a pretty big box today, it can hardly fit in the camera. Uh, one by one, a uh, company out of Canada makes a whole bunch of tech products. They sent me a few things to review in the past, uh, and they asked me if I wanted to do a stereo turntable, so I said, of course. And they sent it on by, I'll unbox it, we'll talk about it very briefly. Box doesn't have too much going for it. Uh, it's got some information on the side, says the exact same thing on both sides and the front is exactly the same side as the opposite side here so I'm gonna unbox it real quick and I'll put some stuff on the table and show you what it all comes with so we've got a pretty standard power adapter nothing too fancy here uh, it's two prong not grounded pretty simple barrel connector it's probably pretty easy to replace if you lose it uh, let's say output is 9 volt 600 milliamp hour input is obviously 100 or 240 volts 50 to 60 Hertz and 0.35 amps so pretty basic stuff there uh, this is really really well packaged it's in foam then inside the foam it's plastic and then inside the plastic it's paper so it's pretty nice packaging for this price tag of a $50 uh, belt driven um, stereo turntable uh, so it's pretty interesting so let me let me keep unboxing this So you've got your manual, there's some warning labels, instructions, it's pretty simple if you're going to buy a turntable, I'm sure you probably already know how to use one, uh, they're really not too terribly difficult anyway. So, and then uh, let me unbox the rest of this real quick, and the only thing left uh, is the turntable itself, so it doesn't include any interconnects, so if you need, you know, RCA cables, because this has output, uh, it really doesn't need any interconnects to work. All I really need, need to do is plug this into power. And then here is the turntable itself. It's got a nice little glass uh, retractable thing there. It does kind of slam shut. doesn't have like the nicest hinge in the world. You've got some foam there to protect it. Zip tie here to pr hold the arm down and kind of keep the cartridge from being damaged in packaging there. Everything's pretty basic on it. Uh, this is all plastic construction here. Uh, even the side, uh, I think, is plastic. It kind of is made to look like wood. Might be like a really cheap like particle board, uh, but it's definitely like sticker, final quality. There's a little bit, couple rubber feet here, so you get a little bit of protection there. Uh, the cartridge and everything's pretty basic. I mean, you're not this is not anywhere near some of the hi-fi equipment uh, that I have normally reviewed, but I did not own a turntable. So when they offered to send me one, I said, of course. This is what the front looks like. It does have two speakers in it, and it's two one and a half watt speakers. One and a half watt. That's pretty, uh, pretty nice. Uh, they actually don't sound too bad. They actually, they have some decent volume to them, surprisingly. Um, anything above, like, half here on the dial and it's probably at a louder volume than, than you might need so you've got um, USB playback I haven't tried it out yet but apparently you can do vinyl to mp3 recording not sure how it does it but this is a playback port so you're supposed to plug this in with music on it then it can play it out the speakers obviously uh, that's why you've got you know a play pause forward and backward button and then there is a record button so I assume you can record it. I haven't tried it out yet. I literally just got this in the mail. Uh, and then you've got a uh, input selector, uh, just phono or USB, depending on uh, what you want your source as. And then on the other side here, the back, you've got uh, audio out. So if you want to hook this up to another amp or you know whatever you'd like, um, I'm not sure if it's. I assume it's variable out, but I'm not sure. Uh, and then you've got power. So that's that's pretty self-explanatory there uh, other than that it's kind of like this wood color you've got some rubber feet on the bottom that are pretty good that kind of 
stabilizes it just nicely. Um, I haven't had any problems with this. I had a couple records um, laying around. That's one of the reasons why I haven't done this review right away. I've had this sitting here for like a week, and I didn't have any vinyl in the house, so I had to go out and buy some, and that's good. And I, I did listen to it. I did unbox this ahead of time just to make sure that everything works, uh, and it's pretty darn nice. I mean, for 50 bucks, really can't complain. I've obviously used some nicer turntables than this, and they definitely do exist. But for $50, just to, you know, listen to some old records you haven't heard in a really, really long time, it's pretty darn good. It's, it's There's nothing, you know, too fancy here. You might want to, like, balance the cartridge or other things like that. Um, other than that, you know, tone arm, the little lifter here is pretty nice and gentle. It's not, you know, like, as rough as I would expect. It has a little lever lock here. I mean, there's, there's adapters that... You can play um, 33s, 45s, and oh, what's the other one? And 78s. So let me just read some things from the website here from one by one. Great styling, beautiful wooden appearance, protective dust cover. I guess that's the plastic bit. Uh, and convenient playback controls. It does do vinyl to MP3. Apparently I want to try that out here in another video. This is kind of just the unboxing. Transform audio to vinyl, audio from vinyl records into MP3 format files for later playback on your computer and mobile devices. Selectable speeds, like I had mentioned, 33s, 45s, and 78s. With the included 45 RPM adapter, front facing stereo speakers, full spectrum sound uh, to properly listen to both your vinyl records uh, and MP3 playback using a USB key RCA output. Easily connect your turntable to your home stereo system. Has pretty good reviews, but, you know, most of the reviews that are here are people just like me that have probably had things uh, sent to it. Oh, there was a bad review on here. Let me see here. Bad review. Completely unimpressed. Looks fine. Super lightweight and aesthetically pleasing. Huh. Some guy that, like, had a... It was, like, the only one-star review on here, and... It was, it what it sounds like from this guy's review says he doesn't know, doesn't really know what he's doing. There's a lot of like reviews on Amazon like, ah, it didn't work, blah blah blah. Like you probably didn't know what you were doing, um. But it looks really nice. I enjoy it. It's super simple. Record player is a record player. You know they all kind of work the same. Um. So it is nice. Uh, I'll put a vinyl on here real quick just so you can get, like, the size of it. Um, if you're playing 33s or 45s, obviously they, you'll be able to, like, close the dust cover with this. Uh, I would have liked it to be a little bit bigger footprint, and one by one does sell, like, 10 different record players. Prices up to 150 bucks. So you can get bigger ones that don't have speakers built in and, and you know, don't have that, like, ultra like retro look in the front. So let me go grab a piece of vinyl and I'll put it on here. And um, I'm not really going to play anything off of it just because hearing it through my mic, compressed on audio, through your speakers, you'll never get a good idea of how it actually sounds. Um, but for 50 bucks, it, you know, you, you can kind of expect what you want out of that. So let me let me go get a piece of vinyl real quick. Too low for zero. Some Elton John, that's a classic there. So I guess you can close this. I didn't I wasn't paying attention to that earlier, so it does have a little cutout here on the side. You can tell it's not it does stick out a little bit there, and it does stick out just a very small fraction over here, but there are there are cutouts, so you can close this with the dust shield on and, and still have your uh, record in there. So, let me know what you guys think. I think there's a 90-day warranty on this. If you buy it from one by one, it's a little bit longer of a warranty, but if you buy it through Amazon, Amazon has weird practices about that. Uh, but let me know what you think. I'm going to go plug this in, test it out, there really isn't much burn-in time, and, uh, you know, really listen to it, 
check the audio outs and other things like that. And I'll come back in probably a couple of weeks and let you know my opinions and if it really is worth the $50. But uh, let me know what you guys think. This is the 1x1 belt-driven 3-speed turntable by 1x1 out of Canada. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.